Welcome back to episode 3 of learning the chambers of Zarek. I think we got a really decent start here. Shamans, mystics, ice demons, guardians, and tightrope. All fairly easy rooms. Okay, so we're getting ready for this raid. It's guardians, thieving, mystics, crabs, shamans, and muted owls. So it's a heavy room, especially muted owls last. I like muted owls last because we usually have an overload by then and a bunch of food. So let's just send it. That was a decent run. I'm learning a little bit here and there. Anyways, 37kc and as you can see, we got 546k loot there. That's probably one of the best ones that we've had so far. I really think Void is a good uh, option when you're starting to learn raids because with Void, you know, you just got to switch the helmet and then your whole combat style is switched and there's so much learning, not even just with Ohm, but like even just the boss mechanics or the little even puzzle room mechanics and stuff like that. Just by switching your helmet, you can be, you know, melee gear or mage gear or range gear and it's very helpful for just learning. Maybe it's not the best setup. A lot of people are saying don't use Void, use your if I use this use that but I kind of want to learn on a budget right I want to be able to do the the raid with basically the shittiest gear that I have so that when I bring my good gear um it'll be a lot easier for me right so if I can learn it this way it's the best and I really think void's really cool because you can get more inventory space this way and it, it just really works well for all of the rooms and even Ulm himself also, when you're scanning the rooms, one tip that I've found to be very helpful is basically rooms that you know you're going to take a lot of damage on, um, ba try and get them, say, third or fourth so that you can at least make potions beforehand. Having an overload for the rooms that you take a lot of damage on can really help you just push through the raid itself. And like I said, I'm doing the suicide method right now where I make a ton of brews, die purposely at Ulm. So whenever I get to my farming, I make like 30, 40 brews. I really go overboard with this and just make sure that I'm ready for the final fight. Yesterday, I said I'm going to complete uh, three, three or four runs, whatever it was that I had my goal set for. And uh, yeah, I ended up like dying multiple times at home during different phases and stuff like that. And the thing is, though, every time you go into raids, even just with the random, like even Guardians right now, right? You learn something that will help you for the next time that you are in the chambers so you know dying doesn't really matter it's a, it's a learning process at the end of the day and every single time you go into the raid you will learn something different right even if you don't you know complete the raid or whatever it might be you're gonna learn something along the way and that's what i've found um that has helped me in this past like 100 hours or whatever it has been since i've started this grind um just the learning process have has been in it's been insane it's been crazy there's so much that i've learned in such a i mean it's been a long time but such a short amount of time as well so for example right now we've got the mystics room and i don't feel comfortable going into this without an overload and some more brews okay so for the farming room this is what i typically tend to do i will use the energy well to just get some energy back to help me throughout it because i can probably use it again by the time i leave and then i head up to the bank right here and it helps if you obviously upgrade the bank so that you can store a lot more into it and i just deposit everything and i take the ingredients i need to make the potions obviously and then i take the seeds that i'm going to need so i'm going to start by making overloads right here I'm going to take a spade and a seed dibber because that's all you actually need. You don't need the rake. And then I just start by farming these um, these two herbs. And then while they're growing, I grab my vials, fill them up with water, and just start making the potions. Now, it depends on the rooms that you get. And seeing the rooms that I have, I'm not going to be getting any overload drops. So I'm going to make as many potions as I possibly can. Um, I usually go with three or four overloads just so that I'm ready for the fight. But if I have, say, Tecton or Mutadiles or a room that I know will drop me overloads, I'll only make like a couple just to save a bit of time. And then you just use the Noxifer on the Elder, the Kodai, and the Twisted Potions, and this will make you the beautiful overloads. 
looks like I fucked this room. I I'm no, I know there's a way you could like lure them all. I haven't quite learned that yet, but this is why having overloads and a bunch of the Xerix aids definitely helps out um when you're learning because this is just so shit. I oh I did I literally brought the amulet for it, but I just uh, I left it in the bank. As you can see, we just had a 28,652 point room with a death even, obviously. We die for um, the suicide method. Yeah, so that's pretty damn good to be completely honest with you. So right now I'm going to try and gear up for some void. Um, I was just using my Bofa and stuff like that to speed up the, the rooms, but... I don't really know. I don't like the Bofa at the boss. I like using the crossbow, so I really hope I get the Dragon Hunter crossbow. Okay, so there's this plugin that I've been using right here called um, the Chambers of Zarek and Tob Data Tracker, and I think this is really a cool plugin. If we take a quick look at it right here, you can swap between Cox and Theater of Blood. And if we look at my Cox, so far since I've installed this plugin, I've gotten 10 kills. Uh, and then it will show you all of the unique drops, how many you've uh, received, and how many you've seen if you are, say, in teams. Um, it'll show the personal points that I've gained. So I've gained 223,124 points in 10 kills, which is really bad. That's like, what, 20-something K points per kill i mean that's not terrible but it could be better it'll show you the best times the upper floor the lower floor the ohm time and the overall time so my best overall time for a raid right now is 53 minutes now you got to keep in mind uh most of that time is making potions and stuff like that and then the rest of it is basically killing ohm so say 15 minutes making potions 20 minutes um killing ohm right there 35 minutes and then the rest of it is just fucking around and trying to get the rooms done as quickly as possible and right now i've been using like the dragon crossbow with ruby bolts so i'm really not doing the most dps as i possibly could so yeah and it will show you the regular drop so in these 10 kills i've made 3 million gp which is an average of 300,000 gp per raid which really isn't that bad i mean that's 300k an hour so it is bad, but for doing an activity where I'm learning something and have a chance to receive a, a weapon that's 2 billion is really not too bad. 300k an hour. All the loot I find is just like a, a little bonus, right? A bunch of herbs are very nice, some planks, some gold ore, pure essence, gems. It can all be some really good rewards. And as for my actual Chambers of Zarek, like KC and Log right now, this is what it's looking at. Uh, about 11.3 million GP and 39 kills. Um, the one purple we did receive was the Arcane Prayer Scroll. So we got the uh, Augury Prayer right there. But other than that, we haven't received another purple. We also got uh, two Torn Prayer Scrolls for the Preserve Prayer. Almost 30,000 Pure Essence, which is nuts um and then a bunch of gems and herbs and stuff like that so yeah that's what the uh, uh casey is looking at right now and if i hover over it it's about 300 290 
GP as an average kill. Now, you got to keep in mind these 39 kills, they weren't all done perfectly, right? And by perfectly right now, I mean where basically I suicide once and then get the kill. A lot of them were 15k points, some of them were 5k points, right? So that's kind of the average where it is right now. And if we take a quick look at the collection log right now uh, for the ch uh, Chambers of Zarek, it is 40 kills. And yeah, as you can see, these are the uniques. So nothing crazy like that. We're going to try and get it to where some somewhat where the Tombs of a Mask it was. About 200 kills, I think, will be a good place to stop. As long as I get, say, the the dexterous prayer scroll and maybe one other unique would be really cool i really want the dragon hunter crossbow or obviously the twisted bow those are the two ones i really want the most but any of the drops would be huge i'm obviously not the best at the chambers of zarek and there's still an absolute ton to learn and i'm hoping by a couple weeks from now i'll be able to get say 25 to 26 27 thousand points every single time basically where i suicide and then get the kill from there which really if you think about it is only five thousand points less than if i were to do it without suiciding so i think while i'm learning getting the mechanics down and just trying my best i think the head phase is where i'm taking the most damage right now um i really need to learn the timing and the mechanics of everything like that but uh yeah i'm having an absolute blast this has been a lot of fun if you want me to keep making these little progression videos of the chambers of Zarek. i am will be more than happy to because that's pretty much all of the runescape content that i'm doing right now um and then i might even make like a full raid where i have the face cam and everything like i did for the um whatever that raid is called in the desert the tombs of a mask i did a full um unedited uncut type of uh video where i just pretty much did the entire raid it was like an hour long video or 45 minutes or something like that i can do the same thing for the chambers of xerix so you guys can see how i kill it the, the where i mess up which is a lot but i think that could be very interesting but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video today i will catch you in the next one see ya later